especially when all members of parliaments have no executive jobs anyway. Furthermore, several issues regarding affirmative action have been discussed at length, but to no avail. It, it is now time to seriously make provisions regarding female political representation and participation in public offices and place these beyond the wishes of any particular government. There are certain glaring maladies regarding our natural resources, which we must provide for constitutionally to compel compliance. Rwandan President Kagame has very recently come out against the practice of African leaders who give task concessions to mining companies and others. At the same time, our leaders remove or fail to apply subsidies which will benefit our local manufacturers. The entire concept of task concessions must be re-examined. Concessions given since the commencement of the Fourth Republic should be looked at and provisions or laws should be made to regulate or limit the hands of future governments. This also applies, for example, our oil concessions in accordance with certain recent pronouncements made by an eminent Norwegian as to our, our selling our oil cheap. cheap. The thing is to cut shorts for development as many as possible. Fiscal sense is often ignored as political considerations capture the hemisphere and cause governments to overstretch. In every tumbling, this propels the days of economic malaise and projects are later abandoned. We need to assess how projects of various regimes have fared. Issues of unemployment, national housing deficit, education, including free SHS, health issues, including NHIS, agricultural development, including self-sufficiency and planting for food and jobs, cocoa policy, pollution of the environment and population, affirmative action on women, 1D, 1F, fiscal management must be captured and nationalized and they will not in principle belong to any party. The better management thereof will determine the competence of a particular government from time to time. Such assessment made by high powered national institutions without fear or favor will promote good governance. The question is how do we ensure that autonomy prevails on these commissions. Constitutional development in Ghana, study of colonial times, First Republic, Second Republic, Third Republic, Fourth Republic. It will help us, for example, to know why is it that something was better in the Second Republic, but it was removed in the Fourth Republic. They will do a Sankofa and go back for it. It will help us also to appreciate that under the 19th state constitution, for example, the president could suspend the constitution and rule by decree from Flagstaff House, by law, according to the constitution, Article 55 of the 19th state constitution of Ghana. And also, there was nothing like complaining when you were arrested and asking that you have been kept for more than 48 hours. When we know this, then we will appreciate what constitutionalism has really done for us and, up and appreciate how to go about calling for backward movements. Documents and papers on constitutional development in Ghana. This will include deliberations and proceedings of the commissions or assemblies which drafted the constitution. So that if, for example, the constitutional commission uh, before the 1992 constitution advised that former heads of state should be included in the membership of the Council of State, and yet it did not appear in the Constitution itself, then you also ask yourself, why does it not appear? Because that is a better option. These are the ways to appreciate the essence and the benefits of constitutionalism. Constitutionalism in Ghana, the trial of the matters, Ray Akoto case, Dankwa in action, etcetera. The IEA debate discourse on constitutional studies, monthly round tables, know your rights and obligations under the 1992 constitution. 
1992 Constitution of Ghana, your rights and obligations, capping of the Supreme Court to cap or not to cap, to promote good governance in public affairs, civil society, political and economic institutions should be part of our national lives.